Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachakurash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and his only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew tongue, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. I also want to give Shalom to our sincere brothers that's push teaching this truth worldwide. And Shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right, let's hear what a video uh, commentary or response you, you could say to Dabu77, as you see there from the channel. And uh, you see there uh, from his channel and the video titled Star Warmwood, Ukraine's Chernobyl region and biblical prophecy. All right. And this this is just a show. And I thought when I first seen it, I thought it was interesting. You know, Dabu77 is a he's um basically a YouTuber that does, you know, a live event, you know, videos, updates and what's going on within the world, the weather. All right. You, you know, uh, theories or whatnot. OK. But in this video, he, he seemed to um, hop right into biblical prophecy. OK. And he has to be, you know, because who else does who who else goes into biblical prophecy? You know, the Hebrew Israelites of Great Millstone, man. All right. But I thought it was interesting, you know, that he they that he uh dove right into it, man, because the word is going out. And this is a channel, uh that's another thing about it too. This is a channel that has a, over, you know, over one hundred four over almost five hundred thousand subscribers, you know. So the word of the Lord is going out. All right, the word of the Bible. It's going out, man. Okay. But it's the hot white right into uh concerning biblical prophecy in that star wormwood that is mentioned in Revelation chapter eight. All right. I wanted to grab that. Okay. Because he mentioned it a little bit. You seen the the the, the longevity of the video is only about three minutes. So he, he touched on it just a tad bit, you know, and related it to the scriptures. Okay. But you know, just wanted to hop right into it. But this is Revelation chapter eight, verse six. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. Okay. And this, of course, John on the island of Patmos re receiving these visions. Okay. And remember Dabu 7-7 seven, seven related, relating this uh, basically to the, the uh, current event of what's going on in Russia and Ukraine. That everyone, you know, is making jokes about concerning World War Three tensions, man. And World War Three rumors. All right. But these are all signs that we're at the end, that we're at the last days, and we're getting closer and closer to the return of Yahweh Shai, delivering the elect of Israel, delivering his chosen people, okay? That's exactly what's about to happen, man, these, and that's exactly what these signs are showing, all right? Deliverance and destruction, okay? But this is Revelation chapter 8, verse 7. It reads, the first angel sounded, and there followed hell and fire mingled with blood, and there... And they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. Now, concerning the third part of trees, if you go to the next chapter over, I'm going to go down to Revelation chapter 9, verse 17. All right, concerning that third part. All right, this is this not this is spiritual. It's not, it's not literal trees, okay? But this is Revelation chapter 9, verse 17. It reads, and thus and thus I saw the horses in the vision, because this is back, reiterate again, that John was receiving visions, all right? He was basically describing them the best he could, all right? So that we can understand them in these last days. And, of course, given through the Holy Spirit, given by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures, all right? But continuing on, it says, And them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone in the heads of the horses, were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Now, what can do that? You know, thermonuclear missiles, all right? Missiles, warheads, all right? Verse 18, by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths, okay? And that third part of men basically going into the so-called white man, the Edomites, all right, the sons of the wicked. All right, because in the ancient times before Abraham, which is the 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 you know, which is through the righteous bloodline, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Before Abraham, all right, before we was considered Israelites, we were we were known as the sons of God. All right, and the other nations were known as the son of men. 
Then you also had the sons of the wicked, who are truly the Edomites. If you want, if you can, you can hit that with um or relate that, correlate that to Malachi chapter one, verses one and two. Okay. But that 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 Esau Edom is the border of wickedness, man. All right. So they are the wicked according in, in the Bible, within the Bible, okay, within the scriptures. But back to Revelation chapter 8, just to uh, bring forth edification, Lord willing, concerning verse 7. But moving on to verse 8, and the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. That great mountain, okay? Let's get that... Uh, Precept upon precept to great to get understanding on that great mountain, man. Cause this is clearly going to destruction. All right. Let's get Jeremiah chapter 51. 51. Oh man. Verse let me get verse one. It reads, Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. Okay. All right, a destroying wind. All right, and this is this is biblical prophecy going into Babylon the Great. All right, Babylon the Great. You know it's biblical prophecy because if this was referring to ancient Babylon, all right, there that land wouldn't be even inhabited today. You know, preluding off Isaiah chapter thirteen, man. That that after destruction takes place, man, the, the Babylon the Great would not be inhabited ever again. All right, so this this has to be talking about. All right, a place in the time we're living in now is ultimately going into America. Okay, but Babylon the Great. All right, but this is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 24. And I render unto you, it's like it, unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, are they evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, save the Lord. Okay, Zion going to, to Zion, the memorial. All right, for and who are the memorial of the Lord, man? The Israelites, Yasha Allah. Okay, you for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are scattered worldwide. All right, verse 25. This word is for you. All right, it says, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. All right, because it's going to because this place is going to get destroyed. And how did and how did this mountain destroy the whole earth, man? Through their philosophies, through the teachings, all right, through the lies, through the evil, okay, through through taking over these different lands, all right. The so-called white man has done enough, man. But the time is almost up, all right. That's what World War Three is about to bring. It's going to be the end of all wars, okay. Let me also grab Isaiah thirteen since I did mention it. This is Isaiah thirteen. Get verse one. It reads, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Verse 2, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Okay, and the mountain going, truly going into government, but this is a high government. All right, a high infrastructure. All right, resembling America, going into America, man. All right, it says, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. And the truth is going out. All right, against this high mountain in America, it's no coincidence that the Lord has the truth of the Holy Scriptures mainly going out in the land of America. All right, and prophesying and giving and giving a warning. All right, to the to the giving prophesying the destruction to the nations and teaching repentance to the Israelites for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's no coincidence. That's that's why he has the prophets, most of his prophets in the land of America. All right, damn near every major city. Okay. All right, because a great destruction, a great event is going to take place in this land. All right. It says, lift ye up a banner, which is the truth all right, of the Holy Bible upon the high mountain, America, Babylon, the great. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. All right. Rebuke, man. We're giving out that rebuke. Okay. And let me go down to Isaiah 13 because I mentioned the point. So I want to. Definitely uh, put forth a scripture, you know, concerning that point that I mentioned concerning Babylon. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. How did that happen? Through fire and brimstone. Okay. Verse 20. It shall never be inhabited 
Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. All right. So we understand just off this scripture alone that this can't possibly be talking about the ancient Babylon, which is modern day Iraq, because they're still that, that land is still inhabited to this very day. People are living there as we speak. OK, this is referring to Babylon the Great. All right. Referring to America, referring to this future prophecy that is coming soon, that is about to happen, happen concerning uh, thermonuclear missile destruction. All right. That's exactly what's about to take place. And Revelation chapter eight goes goes directly into that, man. This is Revelation chapter eight. And I read verse eight again one more time. And it says, and the second angel sounded as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed, man. So when Amer when Babylon the Great America falls, the so-called white man rulership falls as well. All right. Verse 10. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of the waters. All right. That great star. Oh, it's going to go into it. Verse 11. All right. This is the same as, as Dabu, you know, attempted to touch on. All right. It says in the name of the star is called warm wood. And the third part of the waters became warm wood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. All right. It says the name of that star is called warm wood. And that's those and those star that fell are going to thermonuclear missiles. OK. Simple as that, man. Thermonuclear missiles are, are headed, all right, to, to definitely headed to America, but also headed to other parts of the earth because judgment of the Lord, all right, it's already written to happen. So it's going to happen according to the Holy Bible. All right, verse 12. Yeah, verse 12. You know what? Verse 11, one more time. It says, in the star, in the name of the star is called warm wood, and the third part of the waters became warm wood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. I wanted to hit an interesting um, fact real quick concerning America. Because America was named after Amerigo Vespucci. All right. And it reads concerning that bitter, you know, uh, symbolism. But it says Amerigo Vespucci was an Italian merchant, explorer, and navigator from the Republic of Florence. From whose name the term America is derived. OK, so it's clearly Americo Vespucci. Well, America is named after Americo Vespucci. All right. This Italian merchant, explorer and navigator, the damn conqueror. All right. It says between 1497 and 1504, Vespucci participated in at least two voyages of the age of discovery. First one, we have of Spain and then for Portugal. All right. So concerning that name, Americo Vespucci, I wanted to get bitter. Because he was an Italian merchant, explorer, and navigator. I wanted to get bitter in the Italian. Okay, and it, it goes to Amoraya. Amora. No, Amora. And Amari. Amario. All right. America. Amario. Amara. All right. So they, they you had bitter in the Italian and also in the Spanish. Amarga and Amargo. Okay, so that has correlation, man. All right, cause, cause basically America meaning bitter, you know, because it's deriving from Amerigo Vespucci and his name, and you have um in the language in the Italian language you have bitter going to a Mara and a Maro, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, you know. And these terms going to bitter, rugged, rough, harsh, okay, straight, you know, this word is bitter, okay. I thought that was interesting, man, because the scripture just mentioned that they were made bitter. Okay. But continuing on, it says Revelation chapter 8, verse 12. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened, and the day showed shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. Verse 13. And I beheld, and the angel and I and like it, and I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. And those three woes are going to the three world wars, man. World War One, all right, that has come to pass. 
World War II that, that has come to pass. And World War III is coming quickly. As the scriptures um, hit on. This is Revelation chapter 11. Uh, verse 11. And I ended off here. And it reads, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. The spirit came back to the Israelites, the awakening of the truth. Hebrew Israelites, man, the prophets. Okay? Verse 2. It's like in verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying, saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to the heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. So through the great awakening of the Hebrew Israelites, from the year of uh, from Abba Bivis, all right, stamped from the year of 1969 to the very to the very year we are, we are within now of 2022, the great awakening of the Israelites was coming next. All right, a voice um a voice saying in heaven, "Come up hither," being delivered on a chariot. All right, that cloud symbolizing chariot, man, going up, ascended up to heaven in the, in the, in the sky, man. All right, and what it says, and their enemies beheld them. Our enemies are gonna be watching alone. All right, our top enemy, Esau, even mainly, okay? Verse 13, in the same hour was there a great earthquake, all right? And what's going to make the, what's going to make the earthquake, man? What's going to uh, reel, reel the earth to and fro, have it shaking, moving, thermonuclear missiles, all right? It says, in the 10th part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, going to that number of completion. All right, it says, and the remnant were frightened. And gave glory to the power of heaven. The remnant, like I mentioned before, the Yahweh Shah is coming back to deliver the remnant, the elect of Israel. All right, those 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 few, because everybody's not going to, all Israel is not going to be delivered. All you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not going to be saved in these last days. That's why it has to be mentioned that a remnant were afraid and gave glory to the power of heaven. All right, verse fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. These are the this is exactly the times we are in. Okay. That second woe is past. World War II took place. Now World War III is on the is on the rising, man. Concerning Ukraine, concerning Russia. Those tensions are brewing up. Concerning Iran, all right, concerning China, concerning America. These nations are, are starting to are, are about to feel fulfill Bible prophecy. Okay? That's what exactly was about to be fulfilled. All right. And I thought it was very interesting that Dabu 77, you know, thought to touch on Bible prophecy. Okay, because hey, the word is going out in these last days, you know. Then the end shall come. All right, simple as that. All right, so Lord willing, then the lesson was uh edifying and also encouraging to you sincere believers and you sincere listeners. I want to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Chakwadash. All right, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Keep the